Meet me. What up, what up? Welcome back. And we're going to do something we have not done in a while, which is kind of uh, an equipment video. Now, I've been crafting regularly, so I don't really have anything to craft. I've been uh, going through the horrible, horrible gear grind, as always. But I do have some conversion thingies, and I have a few pieces of gear saved up that I had some interest in trying to enhance. And we're going to count them up and see how many of them actually turn into usable gear. So I'm going to open up Notepad here. The first thing we're going to do is equipment conversion. Uh, maybe try to craft some stuff. So you know what? We'll even keep track of how many of the equipment conversion things turn out to be decent. So I'm just going to count. So number one, uh, what do we want? Immunity weapon? Okay, let's try it. So this is pretty horrible, but um, it has speed on it, so we're going to say that's a pass, so one of one usable. Uh, we'll do some immunity and whatever speed. Hopefully it ends up being immunity. I really need immunity gear. Uh, yo, this is really good. So we're two for two. Um... Wow, max defense roll, max health roll, max speed roll, and flat, I mean, as long as it doesn't all go into flat health, and yes, I know, I just friggin' cursed myself by saying that. Uh, what about crit hit chance? Typically, we would want that on speed, because you're gonna want it with, like, a C-Dom pusher. Um, yeah, that's Garbo, so we're two for three now, and we'll try one more. I mean, realistically, we could even make this crit, but... Let's go with speed for now. This is horrible as well. So two for four now. Um, let's move on to rings. I don't really need any of this stuff, but you know, let's just do an effectiveness one. Effectiveness speed is pretty good, always. Two for four right now. We really need speed on this for... T oh my goodness. So we're three... Or five. I mean, honestly, um, I mean, five speed roll starting is insane. So if everything goes into speed, this will be crazy. Um, the offensive stats are pretty good as well. Uh, the thing is, you know, do effectiveness heroes usually need that much offense stats? No, typically not. But it doesn't hurt. I have dealt with some pretty high C damage athleticas before, but this that was sick. This is turning out to be a pretty sick crafting session. Now I need good boots, so I have enough to make three speed boots here. My boot situation is pretty bad. Let's check this one out. Um, this is not great, but it has effectiveness on it. Eh, I don't know. We'll just say that's three for six, because I'm probably not going to use that. Maybe if it all goes into effectiveness, maybe. This is pretty solid. So four for seven. Um, pretty solid. If I could dodge the flat attack. Flat attack isn't the worst thing. I already forgot to count. Four for seven. This could be okay. I mean, ugh, flat health. If I, if I could dodge both of those completely... Could be. So you know what? Five for eight on Reforge where, you know, a lot of these are probably going to be ruined. But hey, if it has potential, that's already pretty good. A lot of times the gear you get just immediately doesn't have any potential. Like these two I'm probably never going to use. So let's ex extract them. And now let's count up the gear I have saved up today. So all this locked stuff that has no enhancements on it, we're going to try to enhance them all and see how many of them I end up keeping. So let's just go through them one by one. This one's kind of not great, but whatever. So one, two, like I always keep these speed things. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so we have 21 pieces of gear here. 
and we're going to enhance them and junk them and we're going to see how many of them survive. So we start right after... Uh, this kind of gets confusing. So to the left of this ancient drake mask. So let's start with this. Like This is probably almost certainly going to be junked. I don't know why I kept this. I basically need max rolls into attack and crit chance. Okay, that was a pretty decent roll, actually. Um, honestly, it's not terrible, but I don't even know why I rolled that. Screw that. Uh, this one needs to go into speed or I don't care. Two effect resist rolls, so that's clearly junk. Let's keep moving on to helmets. This is another one where I really needed to go into like either speed or effectiveness. Goes into attack. I mean, it's an epic, so should we give it one more shot? Oh, went into speed. But now I have to invest more into it, and it probably won't go into speed again, so... Yep. Um, actually, roll-wise, this isn't bad. It's like a max... Almost max speed roll and two max attack rolls. So if I wanted to make like a hit set SSB... This is actually not bad, so I probably shouldn't junk it yet. Um, let's look at more helms. This is an easy one. It's either speed or garbage. Garbage it is. Another one that's speed or garbage. Effectiveness. I mean, effectiveness is not bad, but again, I mean, it's just a heroic. You really gotta cut it to go into speed. Another one where I really need it to be speed, it's Unity set. Uh, there you go, speed. Low starting roll, though. And, yeah, I mean, plus 7, 5 speed. Nah. Can this one go into speed twice? One into speed once. Screw it, let's see if we can go into speed again. It's only at 6. 10. Nope. Um... Is there any other value to this? No. I'm not going to end up using that. And I think that's our entire helmet situation, right? So we can go ahead and just feed this in. We don't care about this thing anymore. Um, you know what? Let's plus 12 this to see what happens if it maintains its high rolls. 7, 8, 7, 22. 7, 8, 7, 28. This is actually turning out to be a not horrible helmet. Um... If you watch the squirrel formula video, it's 35, 42, uh, plus 14, so uh, 52, 56 at plus 12. Not the worst. Okay, so now where do we start at? Um, this ring. I actually think this ring looks really nice. If I get high speed rolls, this is a really nice like flurry ring. Effectiveness, speed, health. Okay, so we get a super high effectiveness roll. It's 17% at plus 3. Flat health roll. Um, this is probably a dud at this point. But let's just pray. 5 speed roll. Uh, um, that's such a weird piece. I'm going to keep it for now, uh, but I almost certainly won't use it. Um, what other rings do we have? Oh, that one's a crazy one. Let's save that one. Um, okay, Hellraid Sword. Okay, we all love Hellraid Swords. 9956. 5% 5 health roll. That's already starting on a bad note. What is this thing? Don't care about that. 14956. 14, 9. So one four speed roll, pretty good. That first roll was bad though. More speed. Fourteen, six, nine health roll. That's good. Is this gonna turn into a night sword? I could go for a night sword. All right, so we're gonna plus fifteen this anyway. So okay, another four speed roll. Um. Okay, if we could get another max speed roll, that would be a sick thing. Or a health roll. I don't want attack or crit damage at this point. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, we could say two good speed rolls. 
Um, one good attack roll. Still pretty good overall. I mean, it's not terrible by any means. Okay, so we got to keep that. What is this thing? Uh, this doesn't look too great. That's just because it has low crit chance, crit damage rolls. We need max rolls into them or it's garbage. Of course, we get a max roll into crit chance. But that one was garbage, so yeah, we're not going to keep that. Um, oh my god, that, uh, that thing's so sexy. Okay, let's look at this thing. 3, 6, 8, 5. Went into effectiveness in its unity set. Dunzo. 7, 6, 5. This one looks pretty nice, but it has to have high rolls. It's only a heroic. 7, 6, 5. Ooh, 8% attack roll. 15, 6, 5. 15, 6, 5. 4% crit chance roll. Acceptable. 15, 6, 9. Another 4% crit chance roll. This one is actually not bad. It's not bad. Um, didn't get the highest rolls. Basically, I'm missing one crit damage and two crit chance. Potentially 1% attack, but... And health. Middling roll, but that one's not terrible. Let's look at this boot situation. Uh, this one, basically, I just want crit damage and chance. Got one into... Ch Crit damage. Um, I mean, crit chance. But it's not looking good. I mean, with that bad crit damage starting roll and two bad crit chance rolls. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, this one's similar, except it's a heroic, unfortunately, but better starting rolls. Um... Okay, crit chance, crit damage. Eh, not the best roll, not the worst roll. Okay, and it went into effectiveness, so it's a heroic, we're gonna junk it. Um, this one basically is horrible unless it all goes into effectiveness, which it probably won't. Defense and health, and it's 8% with the health roll. That is garbage tier. Um, seven, went into flat attack. I mean, you could get away with one of those. It's not always the worst. Flat attack again. I mean, for the heroes that need flat, that was a bad attack roll, though. Um, I'll keep it for now, but really, that's not very good. Okay, this one I really just want crit damage and crit chance. So we start off with flat health, of course. And effect resist. And that's pretty much ruined. I'm gonna unlock the ruined one so I can distinguish, because realistically I'm not gonna use either of these. Um, this thing is Garbo. I just need it to go into like 10 rolls into speed or it's garbage. Of course there's one speed roll. 9 speed. Nope. Since it's a epic we'll give it one more go. But honestly because it's at 5 it's pretty trash already. Yeah that's super trash. Okay. So we unlock that. Uh, this one's pretty good. 4 speed. But again it needs to go into speed. Or it's garbage. So... Yep. Yep. So that's garbage. Um, wow, did I go through everything already? Okay, so we have these uh, two juggernauts left. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared to ruin this piece. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful starting off, but... Alright, five, four, six, seven. Five, four, six, so of course, immediately a minimum crit damage roll. Five, four, six, max attack roll, but again, this is turning out to be really weird now. Like, what is, who's going to use this? Okay, a three speed roll. I don't even know why I'm going for this. A five percent crit damage roll, and essentially this thing is, uh... 
probably unusable. Um, trying to think. I don't know, like Archdemon Mercedes or something. Even on her, it wouldn't be very good. I would need to think about who would want to use that. But again, it's going to be a very niche item. Like, uh, if someone can use this, there might be someone who could use this. But I need to think about it, which means it's not going to be a whole lot of heroes. Now, this one's just straight up beautiful. What is this thing? Oh, that's pretty bad. No wonder I unlocked it. Okay, so 8, 8, 4, 160. The only thing I really don't want is flat health. Otherwise, I don't care. Ooh, my God. That's two max rolls. So it started at 8, 8, and it's 16, 16. Oh. What is this? This looks pretty good. Oh, wait, no, it's plus 9. That's why. Oh, my God. That's another 8% roll. Three perfect rolls. Um, let's just feed this guy in. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Alright, don't make the last one a flat. I mean, flat's not the worst thing in the world with a piece like this. As long as I don't get another one. I could live with one roll into the flat. Speed. Oh my god, that was an 8% roll! So, it went from 8 to 16, and then 8 to 32. So that's 3, 4 max rolls, and then a flat health roll. I don't really know what max rolls on flats are. Oh, we gotta reforge that thing, for sure. Um, where is it? Is it a converted equipment? 19% defense. 37% health. Unfortunately, when you have speed and you don't roll into speed on a reforge, that's why I was begging for speed, you kind of waste that because speed doesn't have a base increase from reforging. Um, it is what it is, but this is still a pretty solid piece by the squirrel point system. It's a 56 plus 8, 64. Pretty solid, but I mean, that was four max rolls, so... That's a good piece. Let's reforge this thing. Okay, so I would have loved that to be like a 20 speed piece instead, but hey, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think my LR crowd can make use of that. All right, so let's take a look. We started with, what, 21 pieces? The unlocked things are garbage, so we got one legitimately good piece. Um, eh, well, we'll call that a good piece, so two... That's trash. Three, four, I mean, it's a Hell Rage Sword. This is probably garbage, so... Out of 21 pieces that were promising from the start, I probably got four that are usable. So that should give you some kind of math, or some kind of expectations, like... Out of equipment conversion right off the bat, half will be garbage. Then when you enhance it, Something like 80% of it will turn into garbage because the rules will be such ass. And that's why everyone says this game is a grind fest. And they're right. Like, if you love the game, you're going to love the game. But I think everyone's in agreement that getting gear sucks. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, best of luck to you guys on your own gear quest. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see me get more shitty gear in the future. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.